Okay, so this is where we're at right now. We got the uh, half skins installed on both the top and the bottom. Show you both sides of the airplane here. Got one landing gear leg in there, and since we're going to be replacing the new landing gear, leg, oh, I wanted to mention, just got, of course, we got Oshkosh was in there, and I got to go over to uh, Oshkosh and meet up with uh, Lori and Matt and Donovan and Terry and uh, Tom with that uh, Alter Cruiser Plus. He was there hanging out in the booth. Um, uh, who else did I meet? Uh, I was trying to run into Dennis just to say hi to him. I missed him uh, every time. I think Joe DeModica, another YouTube guy, was up there too on Tuesday, and I missed him. So I missed everybody except uh, factory folks. So, But that was cool. Yeah, so I got, you know, all the nifty Hummel swag while I was hanging out there at the Hummel booth with the folks. Got a hat and a t-shirt. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, the uh, 37 horse motor has been sold on down the road. That was, got sold to uh, Mike Riken, I think was his name. I think that's right. R-I-K-E-N or I-Y-K-E-N. He had a buddy of his who was up here. Um, hanging out at Oshkosh, come over and pick it up for him. So that's down to Missouri. And I guess Mike is a, a hangar mate there with Dennis, Dennis Brooks. I guess they're on the same airport. So that's pretty cool. Replacing his 32 horse with the 37 horse that I had in mine. And uh, we'll be talking about engine choices for mine a little bit later on. Um, but I just wanted to show you this here, what we're going to do with this landing gear leg. I want to get it lined up kind of straight up and down and get it marked so that when I line it up on the other side of the airplane there I'll be able to see a center line on this landing gear tube on the other side and I can line up this just like that down there so what we're doing with the landing gear leg here taking I got it set up and down I kind of squared it up so what I do is just take this is the mark in between where the uh, that bracket gets attached to and I'm just taking Get this squared up because that's going to be the center line of the tube run it down there like that and then hopefully you can see that just a little teeny line right there so that gives me an idea where the center line of that tube is so when i go to go to line that thing up and drill new holes to mount to that bracket that's how that'll give me a reference point so anyway um we're going to go to time lapse for the rest of this installation so uh, let's go along with that.
All right, just like that, she's back on her feet again. So that's awesome. So we'll have to uh, route the controls, push rods for the ailerons through there, reconnect the uh, joystick and stuff, and um, route the pitot static tubes back here again, out the front end. Then I'll have to go back, right back up on the uh, on the things, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And take the landing gear legs off and reinstall the nose sheets on the leading edge of the wings, and then we'll be pretty much completed with that portion. So, there you have it. All right, thanks for checking in. We'll see you next time.